Uh, right, Rafe, I'm going to start. I mean, I know this probably makes me sound like a bit of a nerd, but I got these kind of tingles when they found the ship and it brought about this kind of innate fascination I have for kind of physical objects as being windows into the past. Is that, is yeah. that a passion you share? Is, is that a one you've developed over time, these kind of connections we have to history? No, I feel it very strongly. I've loved, I love history and I love going to old sites and it could be churches or, or ruins. I... I love reflecting on what's gone before and imagining the lives that have gone before. And I find that um, somehow quite, quite grounding. I've always loved imagining what life was like before. And although I'm sure we, I mean, it's the cliche, isn't it? We've eradicated so many diseases and our general sense of sort of material well-being is generally meant to have advanced but I'm always curious about what other things we've lost or values or ways of communicating that um, and one thing that fascinates me about the past is actually the lack of electricity so you know when the night comes in it was only ever a candle or a flame mm. and how that affected people's lives and you know what happened by candlelight so any anything to do yes and of course objects a used, worn object that's had a life is always resonant with the, hu 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 the human person who's been holding it before. And that's always a kind of very tingly, as you say. I always wonder how people woke up for important kind of morning meetings without an alarm, but that's just that's an, a separate issue. But, have you, but I was wondering, because your character has a real kind of infectious enthusiasm for his hobby or his passion and profession. Uh, and I just wondered if you've ever developed a passion or hobby via a character that you, you've you played, be it having to learn a skill for a particular role or just picking something up from a, from a character that you've embodied. Oh my God, uh, no, I mean, I'm afraid you're, as actors were often sort of dilettantes, we step in and vaguely become, sort of try to become familiar with the world, the hobbies, the, act, the skills of a character that we're playing. I can't think off the top of my head uh, no, I can't think of anything that I've taken from. I'm just my mind is just scrambling over um, parts I've played. Mm. The answer of I can't think of anything where I've taken on. Um, no, oh, no more. Le less. It's less an answer to your question. I mean, I used to when I, I went to art school when I was young, and I think then um, I started getting behind the camera. I was useful to draw. I picked up that connect connection with something I'd done before and suddenly I was out drawing shots or having sketching out ideas for that felt like I was picking up something that I had lent into a bit as a student but I was coming to the fore again and also I picking up a camera my father was a photographer and I recently liked I, I like taking pictures and that has helped me when I've been directing Mm. so yeah. uh, but it, but not from a role I can't think of anything I mean you mentioned directing I was wondering is, have your has your role as an actor on other people's projects changed since you've become a d director within the last 10 years yes it has well I think it hasn't become like some people ask me does it make you more kind of critical or circumspect about it? and I never think it's the opposite actually I go my god this person has to make this deliver this film and I need to be behind what they're doing and uh, you know if they sometimes they'll ask me what do you think? And I, 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 if they really want to know, but I mean, often it's, I want to, it's given me a, bit, a deeper appreciation of what a director is carrying and trying to do. Mm. It's made me, I hope, a little bit more understanding of the so many things that they're trying to figure out and, yeah. and, and you want to help as an actor mm. and offer up. I mean, I, I learned a lot about acting from directing, about what was useful and about, so I, I come to acting again with, with a, I think, with a better understanding of the whole complication of what it is to make a film. Yeah. Of course, I mean, it was a very, the, la the last year has been a very challenging year for the arts and, and the delaying of, of the Bond movie, which, of course, you're a part of, was kind of emblematic of that struggle. And I think we're all, we're all hoping the film gets released as soon as possible. But the scenario has kind of shone quite a worrying light on, on the industry and specifically the future of the kind of cinema going experience. Are you, are you personally concerned about cinema in its future? Well, I have been because I can see like any, everyone else, I'm watching films on my computer screen. Um, and I certainly would love, I love this, I mean, I was very engaged by David Fincher's film Mank, mm. 
mm. with Gary Oldman. Of course, I would love to have seen some of those shots on a big screen. There's a lot of wonderful detail going on in those frames and lighting. And I, so I, I don't know. I I haven't lost faith. I mean, I I guess I want to believe we'll come through this shitty pandemic and. And we will want to go. I will certainly want to go to see theatres. I want to go and sit in an audience. I think as long as once we get the confidence that we can sit in an audience, I think it'll be hugely emotional in a theatre. And I think, of course, it's a different energy. But a cinema, the big screen, the whole energy of the big screen, I think we'll be hungry for it. And so um, we don't know, but I think, I, think, I think it'll come back. I do think that, yeah. Brilliant. Well, thanks so much for your time today, Ray. And best of luck with the movie. Thank you. Thank Cheers. you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!